now in this video, we're going to be talking about changing bases. Now the point of changing bases is allow you to change your attachments faster and it allows you to build more complicated attachments while still maintaining the speed of changing attachments. So the bread and butter of changing bases is finding a better way to transfer power through your motors to your attachments. So instead of the usual um, sticking axle through the motor, what we can do is we can build a base using an axle and two of these uh, wheels that have six holes, like so. And then putting two of these pegs that have a ball on the end on opposite sides of the wheel, like so. Now, what you have to do is you have to build a counterpart for it. In this case, it's a black clutch gear on an axle. So what this allows you to do is on uh, one end, the base is going to be connected to the motor and the other end, the clutch gear, will be connected to the attachment. So then I could put the attachment on and take it off easily and while still transferring power. As you can see, when I spin the bottom, the top spins as well. So another example of this is where we put three of these uh, ball pegs and the counterpart is instead this piece with three axles sticking out the side. So this serves the same purpose in transferring power. So now I want to teach you how to implement this changing base onto your robot. So for this first example, we have the use of the um, the clutch here as well as the port as we talked about earlier. So here the port is connected to the base robot and is connected to the motor while the top is the attachment portion. As you can see I can attach this on and off really easily and still being able to transfer power between it, the motor and the attachment. So next here's another example of the changing bases. Instead, this time we're using the 24 tooth gear on either side. So again, this bottom part is connected to the robot and connected to the motor, while the top part is the attachment. So as you can see, I can attach it on and off easily while still be able to transfer power. So the differences between this and the other one is that when I spin this, the direction changes and that the axis um, for which is rotating is shifted along. But this is actually more accurate because this has 24 teeth on each gear, while the other one technically only has three because it has three of these ball, uh, ball pegs. And this can cause the thing to overlap on the teeth and not be able to completely mesh like that. It can just land on top. And this is more inaccurate because the top can still move even though bottom isn't, isn't moving because there's only three teeth to hold it in place. So this is our robot from the 2014 to 2015 World Class Series. And here is an example of using the changing bases. So as you can see, we have a medium motor here and a large motor down here, and they're connected to these two top ports here. So all our attachments consist of this basic frame that fits on super easily. Notice how through the changing bases, we can still convert power from here to here, but it's so easy to put on and take off. And as you can see, when I turn the motor, the top still spins from either port. So one downside of using the changing base form is that if the, if the robot is on the motors are under high stress, it might pop like that. And that can cause your all your um, motions to break down. So to combat this, what you can do is you can create a new kind of uh, changing base system. And notice how instead of using the one uh, one whole tall ball, uh, ball pegs, you're using the um, blue long pegs. And instead of using just one clutch gear, we're using two. So now if it were to break and jump, it'd have to go too high. And that's really unlikely for attachment to jump that high. Or what you can do is you can have big attachments 
if you have a big enough attachment, it will push down since it's really heavy and it will be able to uh, minimize the effect for when it's jumping.